hello guys here is a new video on digital control systems in this video we will talk about how to implement a discrete time transfer function in simulink so uh, i will take another example here i will take a first order continuous system using the function tf as you see here then i will discretize this system using c to d using the sampling period and I will put it 0 0.1. I will open the simulink, so I will go to the simulink library. I will go to to find the transfer continuous time transfer function and discrete time transfer function. I will look for a step source, and I will put a mix, and then I will put a scope to see the result of both transfer functions. I want to compare the continuous time and discrete time transfer function. I will copy the, the elements and do not forget to put the sampling period TS. As you see here, we have, because the sampling period is very small, we have a similar response. I will change the sampling period to 0 0.5 and I will get the result. And here, as you see, we have uh, the continuous time response and the discrete time response. If we want to copy uh, the data, so we go to look data to work to workspace with structure with time, and then you see that we have time and signals in the workspace. So I will use the out uh, simulation input and output, and I will use the function plot like it's shown. Thank you for watching. For more information, please see the description. Bye bye.